Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Sok Jun Kwan working at KIST and KIST School. I'm a principal research scientist holding an associate professor at UST, who is a main instructor of this course. I'm pleased to deliver this lecture to you in 2020 spring semester. This lecture is for graduate level nanotechnology and information technology convergence division at KIST School UST. As you already have been informed by UST, this lecture is Introduction to Nanotechnology and Information Technology Convergence. We meet on every Wednesday at 2 p.m. The class is planned three-hour-long lecture for three credit hours. This lecture is composed of three parts. The first part is on the nanotechnology covered by Dr. Kwan. The second part is on the human-computer interface, which will be covered by Dr. Park. Lastly, the third part is on the information technology mainly focusing on robotics. This part will be covered by Dr. Kim. We are supposed to meet in room L4466. However, as many of you have already been informed from UST headquarters, due to severe status of worldwide COVID-19 virus infection as of March 2020, this course will be covered by online lectures and materials as much as possible for the safety of everyone. In addition, office hour will be provided via online. Please do not visit instructors' offices in person. Please be advised further instruction from instructors and USD headquarters for the course. At least the first and second lectures, weeks 1 and 2, will be posted online. Please feel free to contact instructors or USD staff for more information on the online lecture. This lecture is composed of three parts, nanotechnology, human-computer interaction, and information technology. For the last part, Professor Kim will focus on robotics. There is neither exams nor quiz. Students are expected to attend all the classes which have 40% fraction of grading. Due to limited access to the online lecture, I will count the attendance based on the worksheets for every lecture in Part 1. I will give the attendance credit to students who earned 8 or more correct answers out of 10 blanks in the given sentence. If you fail to pass the attendance check, please don't worry. You will given one more chance to make up your credit. There is another requirement for the students, which is submission of term paper. For the first part, students are required to submit a term paper. I will explain in detail on this in next slide. For the term project for part 1, students are required to read, review, and submit a summarized report of one of the review papers published in Nature Nanotechnology in recent years. I suggest you to skim the papers in the list and select one of them and read and review carefully. I want you understand as much as possible of the paper contents and paraphrase of the contents in your own sentences. There are word limits ranging from 1000 minimum to 2000 maximum. There is a strict deadline by April 25th 6 p.m. For your report, please provide any relevant references at the end of the report. To write up the report, you are free to consult with the instructor or others for further understanding of specific concept and or principles in the review papers. I recommend you to buy or borrow at least one of these textbooks for the first part of the lecture shown in this slide. However, it is not mandatory to read all the contents of the textbook. These books are mainly for your reference to the detailed information and more fundamental contents concerning this lecture. Now let us start with a general introduction to nanotechnology. In the first lecture, I want to invite all of you to explore overall history, concept, and perspective of nanotechnology. In the second to fifth lectures, I will deliver detailed aspects of the nanotechnology. But I would like to put some emphasis to focus on the first lecture for your understanding.
there are various areas and subjects belong to nanotechnology. Due to limited time for the course, I will explore several selective subjects which I think important and valuable for apprentices. In the first week, I will cover general aspect of nanotechnology. In this lecture, we will meet the history, definition, applications, limitations, and future perspective of nanotechnology. In the second week, we will explore the world of nanoscale materials such as carbon nanotube, silicon nano iron, graphene and other two-dimensional materials as well as nanostructures. In the third week, we will learn about nanoscale devices and sensors. In the fourth week, we will delve into photonics and optics at nanoscale. In this lecture, we will learn about the light-matter interaction at nanoscale. Finally, for the fifth week, we will meet some advanced topics of nanotechnology such as nanorobots, nanoscale biotechnology, and so on. It should be noted that the covered materials concerning nanotechnology in this part are not completely cover all the areas of nanotechnology. I encourage you to learn something interesting ideas on the nanotechnology, which can be helpful for your research at KIST school. Now let us start with a general introduction to nanotechnology. In this lecture, I will introduce the concept and definition of nanotechnology. Next, you will learn about brief history of nanotechnology. And I want you to learn about which areas and applications nanotechnology can have. I will also mention about the limitations and future perspective. As many of you have already experienced in watching Hollywood movie, nanotechnology has been frequently employed as an advanced technology. For example, in the Marvel movie like Ant-Man, you can find quantum physical concept for miniaturizing the Ant-Man who explored in the nanoscale world. In another Marvel movie such as Iron Man or Black Panther, nanotechnology was employed for the self-assembly nanomaterials which forms designated systems for the characters. In the movie such as The Day the Earth Stood Still, Alien civilization deploy nanorobots which can degrade both animate and inanimate systems. Similar concept was introduced in the movie such as G.I. Joe namely the nanomite. In the movie like Terminator, liquid metal composed of nanomachines were capable of reconstruct. The Terminator. I researched how many movies employed nanotechnology as an instrument to describe the advanced technology, and I would like to share with you the result. According to IMDb which is a portal site encompassing every information on the movie, there are 104 movies which directly mentioned and described nanotechnology. Half the 104 movies were made after 2010. And there are 17 movies among the top 20 movies. This means more and more movies aim to employ nanotechnology as an advanced technology for their plot and characters. It also indicates that nanotechnology has been widely diffused into the community, in which even child can describe what the nanotechnology is somehow. However, we need to concentrate on the exact concept of nanotechnology. First of all, let us ask a very simple but important question. What is the nanotechnology? Everyone seems to be quite familiar with the image or feeling of nanotechnology. There are several definition of NT such as definition coined by Professor Norio Taniguchi. He was a professor of Tokyo University of Science. He coined the term nanotechnology in 1974 to describe semiconductor processes such as thin film deposition and ion beam milling exhibiting characteristic control on the order of a nanometer. Nanotechnology mainly consists of the processing of separation, consolidation, and deformation of materials by one atom or one molecule. More general definition of nanotechnology is provided in the National Nanotechnology Initiative website of the United States government. The NNI agency was created to foster worldwide advancement and leadership in nanotechnology within the United States. According to the NNI definition, Nanotechnology is the understanding and control of matter at dimensions of roughly 1 to 100 nanometers, where unique phenomena enable novel applications. 
encompassing nanoscale science, engineering and technology, nanotechnology involves imaging, measuring, modeling, and manipulating matter at this length scale. The Interagency Subcommittee on Nanoscale Science, Engineering and Technology of the U.S. Federal Office of Science and Technology Policy defines nanotechnology as research and technology development at the atomic, molecular or macromolecular levels, devices and systems that have novel properties and functions because of their small and or intermediate size. The novel and differentiating properties and functions are developed at a critical length scale of matter typically under 100 nanometers. According to Royal Society of UK, nanotechnology is the production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlling shape and size at nanometer scale.